what the president moves forward with. I think that, you know, that's not my committee of jurisdiction, but as my opinion as a member of Congress is, maybe it is we stay in. We stay in, but then say, okay, we're, let's, let's look at reducing, because it ends up always with these accords. We end up following it, and somebody else bails on it. And that is a real problem. So not to pull out, but to maybe, you know, he's the one that talked about renegotiating. So let's, let's look and say, okay, maybe the idea wasn't wrong, but if only one of us is moving forward with the agreement and holding the agreement, then so we'll see. Uh, I, the VA secretary uh, spoke uh, in the White House press briefing room a few hours ago. Okay. One of the things he was talking about is management and the VA and how they're starting to be changed. So what changes in the management structure? Well, let me, so let me tell be, you, uh, it, one is the bill that I was talking about. If you, you can't put... A, and, and it was, it was your, is it your paper that did the original research on that? Or it, it was the St. Louis paper it did too. Yeah. And, and you cannot have somebody in a management position for only 120 days and think they can get the problem straightened out. So make sure that your management positions are someone who is willing to stay and is staying in those locations to truly cure the problem. Now, I believe our, our new secretary is and will be willing to head that direction. He's been very clear with me and been very clear with uh, uh, Dr. Rowe, the chairman of our committee, on where it is that he needs to do to get the management trade out. But remember, as I said a while ago, it is the world's largest bureaucracy. And any bureaucracy is hard to control, but we must get a handle on it. Now, let me tell you, there's many people are very, very happy with the services they receive, but it is... As large as they are, if 5% is unhappy, that's a large amount of people.